Om Swastiastu, Assalamualaikum, Salam Harmoni. Shalom, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Harmoni. Salam kebajikan, salam sejahtera bagi kita semua. Back again with us, one of the group from the PG class of the Science Study Program. Well, that is our introduction. In this video, we will explain material in the form of limitoriums as a fulfillment of course assessment, basic mathematics with Niwayan Marti as com MCOM as a lecturer. Introduce me, Iko Mahio Marbutra, name 2215101055. Introduce myself, my name is Mohamed Izikilian, with student number is 22, 15, double 10, and 56. Perkenalkan, my name is Kedewi Saputra, my, my name 2225, We started explaining the material. Okay, uh, the first is there are three uh, topic discussion on the material. That is the first is theorem function, the second is type theorems of limits, and the last is example question. Okay, next. Okay, uh, the next is why we must know the theorem of limits. Okay, and the answer or the explanation is. As we know, proving the existence of a limit using the definition like this will take a lot of time and is very difficult. Therefore, it is important for us to know the limit theorems to solve the limit problems we will encounter later. So, when we are use limit or theorem limit, it will be more simple and easy. Okay, next. Okay, uh, the next is there are four parts the type of the theorem of limits and number A main theorem of limits number B substitution theorem C the C theorem and the last or D is quench theorem so the first theorem is a main theorem of limit this theorem is a suppose an n is a positive integer and K is a constanta, and F and G are functions that have limit in C. Then, we have a 9 form for a main theorem of limit. The first is limit X approach to C is K is equal K. Number 2 is limit X approach to C have a function x is equal to c. Number 3 is li limit x approach to c is the k the multiply multiplies by a function x is equal to k he multiplied by limit x approach to c and function x and number 4 is limit x approach g function x plus function fx plus function gx is equals to limit x approach to c and function x function fx plus limit limit x c function gx Number 5 is limit x approach to c in the bracket function fx plus function gx is equals to oh, I'm sorry there is supposed to uh, minus so limit x approach to c in the bracket function fx minus Function gx is equals to limit x approach to c function fx minus limit x approach to c function gx. And the number seven is limit 
x equals to c f of function fx per dx is equals to limit of x equals to c f of function fx per limit x equals to c and function gx is a provide if a limit uh, limit x equals to c f of function gx is not equal to zero number x is limit x equals to c in a bracket f uh, in a bracket is a function x with the with the power n is equals to in a bracket limit x equals to c function fx and other bracket is a power n and number number 9 is limit across to c have function in the root function fx is the same as the in a root limit x across to c and function fx provide limit x across to c across to c have a function fx is bigger than zero when the the integer is even it is even an, an even number next is the example of problem from uh, a theorem we have a two uh, example here the first one is limit x cross to 3 have a function to x plus 3 we can solve it is a uh, limit x cross to c uh, across to 3 and function to x plus 3 is lim we using a a for a theorem that then uh, we can multiply a limit by 2 so the 2 in here is to the left the limit so 2 multiply limit x across the 3 with the function x plus 3 it's uh, using uh, theorem a3 and a1 and then we can solve is to multiply 3 plus 3 using a a2 theorem so as the same for uh, number 2 we can solve with uh, using uh, a theorem and here we using a9 and a5 a8 and a1 so the result is here next is the sub substitution theorem so substitution theorem if it's a polyman polynomial polynomial function or rational function is a function fx is equal to px per x per qx then limit x across the c have a function fx is equal to fc provide that fc is defined in the case of a rational function the denominator is not zero for example is here if f if function fx is uh, x power 3 minus 3x find the limit that x approach to, approach to 2 with the function fx for the answer is notice that fx is a polynom polynomial function and we know that the polynomial function is defined for every real number x so fx is defined at 2 then we can solve this limit x2 
with a fun with a function is uh, x power 3 minus 3 so we input the 2 uh, in the x so 2 power 3 minus 3 in multiple multiple by 2 the result is 2 Example question outside of the question on the model. Okay, in this video, we will take uh, three uh, example question. That is the outside of the question on the model. Yes. Okay. Uh, the number first um, is uh, calculate lim x to three um, and two x rank four. This is the question, and for the answer is lim x to 3 and 2 x rank 4 equal limb 2 limb x to 3 x rank 4 and to be 
x or 2 bracket lim x to 3 and 2x and the bracket is ring 4 and to be 2 multiply 3 ring 4 and the result of the value is 162 and this is the solve of this question now we have so we will discuss about the material the first material is calculate a limit x approach to 1 and have a function x minus 1 per uh, root x minus 1 so the answer is we can uh, solve this uh, limit x approach to 1 with function x minus 1 per root x minus 1 we can uh, add the denominator in here so we have a uh, same dominant the denominator and then the result is limit x approach to 1 function root x plus 1 is equal to 2 hitunglah lim x dari dari 0 sin e dalam kurung x per x agar jawabannya ada by association uh, that 1 dikurang x pada 2 per 6 kurang dong sin dalam kurung x per x terakhir 1 because karena lim a simple question that is in the module okay uh, like in the before that we will take uh, three a simple question okay uh, this is the question number 31 and this is the question that is dalam soal 31-34 carilah limit uh, x to ke 2 dengan persamaan ini untuk masing-masing fungsi yang diberikan and this is the function uh, the question number 20, eh, 31 that is if breakout x equal 3 x rank 2 and for the answer this is the answer and this is uh, we will use this equality and we will uh, reverse is uh, <coughs> write the function like this after that we change x uh, to be 2 so like this else breakout 2 equal 3 breakout 2 rank 2 and be the result of it you will the operation this uh, equality or function to be uh, 12 the result and after that we substitution uh, f breakout x to equality 1 this is and to be, uh, to be like this I'll link it to 2 uh, that is breakout 3 x rank 2 um, mean 2 uh, after that uh, divided x mean 2 after that uh, to be like this lim x2 uh, x breakout x rank 2 mean 4 uh, divided x mean 2 after that we operation like this uh, x breakout x mean 2 and x uh, plus 2 and in the breakout after that divided uh, breakout x uh, negative 2 because uh, they, are, they are same uh, x mean 2 and x mean 2 we cross out and after that to be like this lim x to 2 uh, x uh, 3 breakout x plus 2 and we change uh, the value x to be 2 to be like this x breakout 2 plus 2 and we operate uh, the 
uh, addition to be a uh, three uh, multiply four and we operation the multiplication and to be 12 and the result is 12 that's all the next uh, problem is find the limit x cross 2 uh, absolute f absolute function fx minus function f2 per x minus 2 with a function fx is uh, 3 3x power 2 plus 2x plus 1 first we must uh, solve the function fx the 3 3x power 2 plus 2x plus 1 is uh, with the f2 then we input the 2 into the x here here and here so we can solve 3 multiple 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 17 then we can find the limit with the limit x cross to 2 with the function fx and f2 fx mean f2 per x mean 2 so we can uh, input the fx uh, this fx to this sorry to here here uh, fx and here a uh, f a uh, function f2 so the result is 14 baiklah di sini saya akan membawakan soal yang ada di dalam modul soalnya saya pilih nomor 33 dengan contoh soal seperti ini F Equation Menggunakan 1 per X Dengan Pertanyaannya adalah Cari masing-masing fungsi Yang ada dalam soal tersebut F Equation Menggunakan 1 per X Sama dengan Y sama dengan 1 per X Kemudian Y nya saya balik Dengan X Jadi X Sama dengan 1 per Y Kemudian 1 per Y saya pindah ke kiri LSD uh, dikurang sama dengan X Yang mana akan mendapatkan hasil Y kali 1 per Y sama dengan XY Itulah mengapa hasilnya jadi 1, 1 sama dengan XY Kemudian XY kita tukar posisinya dengan angka 1 menjadi XY sama dengan 1 Kemudian Y sama dengan 1 per X Lalu Uh, disubstitusikan y dengan f min 1 uh, x menjadi hasilnya result of f min 1 equation 1 per x seperti itu grading the material of limit theorem we hope that what we explain will useful Thank you.